think of that play by Velasquez to end the game and the, the scoop from Rizzo really to finish it off? Yeah, all around a really tough play right there. Um, you know, not hit incredibly hard. So it's you got to make sure you stick the catch if you're Velasquez there. You can't rush into that. And then uh, and then a great play on the other end on a tough in-between hop by Riz to uh, to hold on. So good execution by those two guys. Did Rizzo remind you what a good defensive first baseman he is in that ninth inning? No, I knew. <laughs> uh, Tom Merriam, go ahead. Aaron, just talk about sweeping the Red Sox at such a critical time of the season here. Um, yeah, it was big, big, obviously. I mean, to to come out and get two yesterday in the doubleheader and then get another one today, um, you know, great job by Andrew just setting the tone. We didn't have much down there tonight. You know, we had a ton of guys down. So we had to have length, and the fact that he was as good as he was was really helpful. Um, so, um, yeah, a really good series um, against a really good team that, that obviously we're we're in a battle with and um you know now we got another important one starting uh these next four games with the twins brendan cuddy you have the next question aaron did you see any rust from rizzo at the plate tonight did i see any say it again any rust from rizzo at the plate tonight um no i actually thought he was all right um you know, I, I mean, I'd have to ask. I, I think he felt, I think he felt pretty good up there, and um, you know, obviously got a big hit uh, to in the big inning that we had. Um, I thought he got some good swings off. Um, so I'll, I'll, I'll talk to him a little bit about it. But I didn't, I didn't feel like he was overly rusty. And just speaking on a similar subject, just what did you see out of Chapman? Yeah, just struggling to find find the delivery, find his release point a little bit. Um, you know, stuff was a little bit down, and um, you know, and and obviously getting up over twenty pitches there. I just, just, you know, I just thought it was a little bit uneven for him. Obviously, Justin Shackle, please unmute. Hey Aaron, two uh, two hits on one hundred eight pitches for Keeney. What did you see in? In terms of him mixing his pitches tonight. Yeah, I thought I thought he did a great job with his fastball of having a presence on the inner half, and, and that made you know that made his secondary stuff a little bit better. You know that that they just couldn't hang out over the plate. Um, the fact that that he came inside was effective inside enough. Um, I think helped his secondary pitches tonight, and uh, yeah, I mean that was you know in a lot of ways we've seen him pitch like that just. He's, he's had the slug that's really hurt him. Um, tonight he was able, for the most part, to obviously stay away from that, but a really efficient, strong outing um, you know, to finish off a really nice series. Happy for him. Obviously, it's been a tough go here these first t few times, and you're grinding through it. Uh, that's a big-time outing for him. In between the, the final play to end the game, getting two hits, uh, that energy that Velasquez is showing, what has he meant to this team since being called up? Yeah, he's been great. Um, you know, we're excited to bring him up. You know, he, he uh, I think, <laughs> endeared himself to our room in spring training. I think everyone enjoyed getting to know him and, you know, seeing his skill set uh, up close um, and then obviously going down and having a really strong season in AAA. You know, he can he's he can really play short, but he has the defensive versatility to move around. You see the speed that he has, and, and he can swing the bat a little bit. So... Um, he's gotten some big hits for us here, obviously, the last couple days um, and played really well in, in helping us win games. Brian Hoke, you have the next question. Hey, Aaron. Uh, Haney was very frustrated after the game in Iowa, said he didn't feel like he gave the team a chance to win. What, what gave you confidence that he could have a performance like this? <laughs> I think even in the struggles that he's had in these games, we've seen a lot of good in it. So, you know, you know, it's it's been a handful of pitches that have really hurt them, and you know, they haven't gone for singles or this. It, they've gone for homers, so it can kind of wreck an outing. But we've seen a lot of what we saw tonight within those outings. Uh, we've seen him over the years. This is a capable guy. Um, you don't you know you don't have those kind of innings strikeout to walk ratio without having solid stuff, and he backed that up tonight. Kenny Davidoff, go ahead. Aaron, just what it means to, to sweep the Red Sox here after the 
pretty significant struggles you had against them earlier in the season? Well, I mean, because it's a division rival, um, you know, obviously they take on a little even greater meaning uh, from a game standpoint. But as far as, you know, the struggles early, you know, that was more of a, you know, we had some some tough games against them, you know, really competitive games in a lot of cases and just at times weren't playing our best baseball, obviously. Um, so, look, we're, I feel like, a better, a different team now. And, and you know, it's and now it's on to the next one and we know we got an important one tomorrow so it's always nice to play well against a division opponent and i'm glad we we're able to do that